California at the Costco Gap. It gets like almost bigger every time I come back here. It's definitely scary. Even thinking about it now, it's a lot. I did it when I was 19, so. Well, I did it 16 years ago. Kiff did it 14 years ago, and still nobody has skated it since. That I know of, yeah. I haven't seen footage of anyone skate this spot. Why do you think that is? I don't know, maybe it's awkward. It's just weird, it plays games with your head because you think the fence is like the same level as the actual takeoff, but it's not, it's like a foot and a half higher. So you do have to pop your trick over a fence. So maybe it just doesn't fit a lot of people's eye. I always think I'm gonna see something, you know? Something's possible. I think this might be one of the most well-known tricks that I've ever done, for sure. Um, the tray flip on Hollywood 16 was like a big deal when that went down. You know, that tail drop kick flip that I recently just did might be as known. Yeah, I'm gonna measure it for the first time. I've always been curious. It's up there, dude. <laughs> this thing's up there. I don't know how tall this is, but. So measuring tape says about 14 feet. You gotta think with the pop, clearing the fence. Had to be about 15 feet. From here to the fence is almost six feet. Call it five and a half, up a foot, and then down 15. <laughs> Just having that data alone probably would've like detoured me from it. Sounds crazy. I mean, I was nervous because of the magnitude of how big Costco is. I knew that he could do it, but at the same time, that's such a big gap and you could just easily blow your knee out. I might have been like 16. I was filming for the Oakley video, Our Life. We had known about the Costco gap. There was like this folklore about it, about kids like trying to jump over it, just like with their feet. And I looked at it and I was like juiced up right away. Skateboarders will understand that like when you see a spot, you either kind of know right away, like yes or no, if you can skate it or not. And so like my brain was stoked. And it was like, yeah, let's let's do it. You fucking all use that, that's yeah. awesome. Hip 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 too. Matters. Nice to meet you, bro. Take care, you guys. There's a car parked here for the Ollie. It was like this little tiny car that was here. It was like packed with a bunch of junk. We like bounced it and got it to move and we moved it over a few spots and then it went into neutral and we like pushed it across the parking lot, got it out of the way. Fuck yeah, Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! I remember I landed the kickflip quicker than I did the ollie, which was like a trip. The part that made this trick like super possible was the fact that I couldn't really think about how gnarly it was. Because when I was out in the middle of the street, I was really more worried about getting hit by a car. I feel like I had to wait until they were turning this way, and then I would like, time the car and I'd go out to the white line out there and like the energy from the cars in the street like cheering me on and like honking was enough to make me not think about what I was actually going to do and then I would like laugh about the fact that it was probably crazy for them to see like me take off full speed and then just like ollie over this fence and disappear so I had I had a lot more going on in my head than just the actual trick. a good run here that I, uh, I applied for a membership. Hopefully this will keep us from getting kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that first one was like, okay, I can take this impact. Second one came through a little bit more hectic. My theory was like, just catch the dang board. I always thought, man, this was almost a perfect Etnies commercial too. My shoe flung off and it almost went perfectly to the camera. Would have been sick. You need to pop your trick and catch it to get over the fence. And like I said, the fence is like a foot and a half high. So it's not a small pop. It's like you actually really have to pop to get your trick. But by the time you catch your trick, you're already in compression. 
And so after the compression, you have to like time the like extension of your legs. That was also the first day I ever rode an 825. I had been on 775 my whole life. And then for the kickflip, I put on a Danny Wayboard and I remember it feeling like a boat. I knew that I needed a slower rotation. That morning when I was setting up a board, I looked at the Danny board and was like, I, I think I need this board. So I didn't even bring the other one. I just knew I needed a slower flick. just like game time. I remember being like halfway down this parking lot on the ground and Figgy came over and like gave me a big hug. Yeah! Oh, my oh my God. 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 Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude, that was fucking amazing. I need a hug too. Oh my god! Wow. Oh my god. What? Sheckler, that was fucking amazing. That was amazing. Hey, what did I say? Four tries? Hell yeah, dude. Four tries. That landing is like so ridiculous. Just crunched. And it was over. Thank God. No more. I come back here and daydream all the time. My like fantasy trick would be a half cab over it. But it's open. Like, come skate. Somebody else needs to get something here. I think Desenzo could frontside flip it. I think he could frontside flip it. I think Jocelyn could try flip it. Like, there's tricks to be done here still. Spot is still good. And it is ready for you.